sci-fi extravaganza. Welcome to Agents of Screen, the first and the only place for movie reviews live at the cinema. I am your boy Miles, aka the light skin Wesley Snipes, and we're here for the long anticipated trailer for June, which is based off the 1965 science fiction novel of the exact same name. And it is a ensemble cast. Timothy Chalamet, Oscar Isaac, Josh Brolin, Zen Bayer, yes, Zen Bayer, Rebecca Ferguson, Batista, Jason Momoa, Javier Bardem from No Country for Old Men, which is a great movie, you need to watch that. Now, June, as I said, is based on a novel and it's basically set in the future. A family takes stewardship of a dangerous desert planet called Arrakis, also known as June. And on this planet is the only source of the most valuable substance in the whole entire universe called the spice, which is a drug that extends human life, provides superhuman level of thought and makes faster than light travel possible. So you know people are gonna be coming for this substance. That's the basic premise. But without further ado, let's just get into this trailer. I'm expecting cinematography to be on a hunter. And speaking of a hunter, the film is gonna be scored by Hans Zimmer and it's gonna be directed by Dennis Villanueva, who is responsible for Blade Runner 2049 and Sicario, both excellent movies. But as I said, let's get into the trailer. Something I'm like Timothy. There's something awakening in my mind I can't control. Don't pay up. No, don't don't lips up, don't lips up, don't lips up. There's a crusade don't lips coming. Do you often dream things that happen just as you dream them? Yes. Wow. The test is simple. Remove your hand from the box. And you die. What's in the box? Pain. You inherit too much power. You have proven you can rule yourself. Now you must learn to rule others. Something none of your ancestors learned. My father rules an entire planet. He's losing it. He's getting a richer one. He'll lose that one too. Arrakis is a death trap. Arrakis. This is an extermination. They're picking my family off one by one. Let's fight like demons. An animal caught in a trap will gnaw off its own leg to escape. What will you do? I know you. One day, the legend will be born. All of civilization depends on it. Wow. The future. I can see it. I must not fear. Watch it look sky high. Fear is the mind killer. My Lord Duke. Where the fear is gone, only I will remain. Go, go, go! You still cannot spice it. sci-fi extravaganza they look like they blew the whole budget on that special effects look crazy the world building looks so rich i know the books there's many books there's so many different novels and to cram that into one i don't know if there's going to be uh sequels franchise but the, the world looks so rich it looks so interesting to be honest i don't know what the hell is going on in the trailer <laughs> 
but it seems like a son has to take over the father's role of ruling the kingdom. Some people feel like the part father's passed it. They feel like he's the next in line, the heir to the throne, so to speak. He's dealing with the repercussions, the the the, the weight. It looks like a, a mix between tremors, obviously, because you have the sandworms. Fifth element because of the kind of science fiction world building. It gave me some small, small Tatooine Star Wars vibes as well. And it seems like it's gonna be, because the world is so rich, it's gonna require at least three hours for him to build this world, to tell this story. It also gave me the vibe of Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. That wasn't the best movie, but you know, it still gave me that type of world building. So any type of sci-fi movie that tries to create its own world, its own currency, its own language, its own culture, its own creatures, it always intrigues me. A bit of Mandalorian vibes in there as well. So yeah, I'm intrigued. It's supposed to be December 2020, but with the state of affairs currently, who knows, bro? Who knows? We can only hope. This definitely looks like a cinema watch. I don't want to watch this in my house. These type of stories always gives you the opportunity to immerse yourself in the world. There's nothing better. So that has been my reaction for June. What did you think of the trailer? Have you seen enough to convince you to watch this film? Let me know in the comments below. Like, share and subscribe as always. I have been your boy Miles. We have been the agents of screen. And until the next video, which should be coming extremely soon. Peace.